Hey boys, welcome back to game two in our big bash 09 uh, career mode <laughs> in big bash boom where uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. I'll make uh, like I said in the first episode I'll make a couple of videos um, And then we'll see how they go and uh, Yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll take it from there, but uh, yes, yeah, you know, it's just a bit a bit of fun here We're taking on the Melbourne stars um, unfortunately Maybe you can, and I just couldn't work it out, but it looks like you can't change the opposition team. It looks like the game does a pretty good job of actually picking um, proper players. And it's cool as well, like, you see Dale Stein there. He actually has, like, his face scanned face in the game. It's right there. That's, it was quick, dude. 153. And that's what I'm talking about. If, if there were more deliveries, the AI bold of, like being like that um i don't know how it wasn't wide honestly <laughs> it did go down leg but there were, if there were more balls at the ai bowl that had the perfect timing where it was the fire like it's quick it's actually difficult to time but i digress um but yeah it's it, it's weird that yeah dale stein his his face scan is in the game which is very very weird i as what <laughs> We're gonna get run out of here, Maxi Bryant. I'm very confused as to why we didn't hit the ball. Um, the timing was ideal. Uh, I think it might have just been a poor shot choice, but I tried to just play a back foot leg side. I don't know, dude. It was a little bit of a strange one, but not not a good start here. We're obviously batting first. Um, last episode, we only had to chase like 40, 40 something. So. You know, in previous, I think, um, when I played the game, when it first came out, I think, uh, I think the standard score was about one, like 100 was on the lower side, but it get up to one, like 110, 120, um, batting first for five overs on the hard difficulty. That, that's sort of what we were scoring, um, a, a few games I played of uh, of this so we'll see if we uh we get bundled out or we score about that as we're gonna lose our second wicket ab ab de villiers is gone so it brings uh maddie renshaw and uh chris lynn hasn't faced the ball after opening as uh coulton isle steams in here so uh yeah some some pace some uh some heat early on from the stars um but yeah it's a good good little chance here to talk talk a little bit about how uh how these teams are going um the brisbane heat uh, you know, it's sort of the standard with the heat. They've got all the potential in the world. Um, and it, it shows some games they absolutely dismantle oppositions. And then other games, they look they look awful. And it's it's weird because... I, it's weird because it, it's, it's sort of flipped, I feel. Like, the heat in previous years, you know, they would score big runs. Um, they would score big runs, but either they would be chasing a mammoth total... Or they, their bowlers wouldn't be able to defend like a, a pretty good score. That was that was sort of the way it was. Um, just they didn't really have, they just didn't really have the decent spin options. And then their pace bowlers were all pretty samey, pretty samey. They're all like sort of back of a length type bowlers. It's another wicket is going to fall, Manny Renshaw. So losing a couple of wickets here. We actually uh, we're actually looking at a little bit of strife. Three wickets down. Brings uh, Semi Hazlitt to the crease. Has Lynn faced a ball yet? He has not. <laughs> we are three for 33. We're, we're scoring at a, a decent uh, rate of knots here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess five overs. We're not going to lose all our wickets, but we uh, we want to score big for sure. Um, but yeah, this year it's, it's sort of flipped because I feel like our bowlers have done a... Barring like a couple of games, I feel like the bowlers have done a, a standout job, and it, it, it's not surprising. The you know the the recruiting I think was pretty good. I mean Zahi Khan, um, you know, one of these subcontinent spinners, mystery spinners, bowls a good wrong in, darts it in. He, he's excellent, obviously. Ben Lachlan, he he can go for a few runs, but Lachlan he picks up wickets and he can bowl those death overs pretty pretty well. So he was a huge pickup. And then, just in general, I think their bowling is a lot more varied. They've got a lot more variety, and it, it's been it's been very good, I would say. It's first ball <laughs> from Adam Zamber. It's going to be a no ball. What? <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty rubbish there. Linny facing his, his 
second ball, I guess. I don't know why that counted as the first ball. Or maybe we faced one before. I don't I don't know. Uh, but the free hit is going to get absolutely smacked for six. So, Lin finally uh, getting a little bit of strike and, and able to uh, to free the arms a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, you know, the, the heat... Their, their bowling, I think, has been uh, pretty good. And then the batting has been just... It, it's just been completely inconsistent. Let's let's be real. And I feel like... I do feel like their, their, their lineups have been a little bit strange. Like, their middle order is, is pretty weak. Um, but the weird thing is... And it, it's annoying because... Um, as well, <laughs> this is annoying as well. I forgot about this in the game. You... You can't really run a quick single. <laughs> it's like he was definitely home, but you you don't like. I don't think you can dive. Maybe you can, and I just didn't press the button. But I don't think you can dive and slide your bat. So they sort of just plant the bat in, and we uh, we got run out. So four wickets down now. Um, brings uh, who was it? Jimmy Pearson? No, Labishane. <laughs> Didn't even realize as uh, this effect dude. I think this is one of the new um, Little power-ups for the bowlers, but it was a little cheesy because I couldn't see the freaking pitch marker <laughs> It was so bright on the screen I couldn't see where the ball was gonna go for it for a, for a good portion It's actually a pretty neat power-up if uh, if you're just trying to not uh, not see what the hell is going on um, But uh, yeah, we're you know scoring got scoring some big runs Labishane gets off with a six um, pretty handy play to bring in at four down for, for 50 odd. <laughs> I didn't even realize I, I had him in the team. Um, I'm not too, I'm not too fussed, but, uh, it's good. It's good to have him here as, uh, Zamp is actually bowling some, some decent stuff. He's going to pick up another wicket. So five down for 65 into the fourth over. Chris Lynn, uh, gets another chance, smacks that one. He's only faced the, the six balls now, and he's, uh, he's 19 runs. So just try to get him on strike. Jimmy Pearson up the other end. Um, you know, it's not a game for singles, but we, we want to give Lin as much strike as, as possible here. Um, but yeah, getting back to the heat, it's just, you know, inconsistent, inconsistent batting. Um, but one thing I was going to mention, Sam Hazlitt, dude. This, oh, I, I feel like one of these years Sam Hazlitt is going to fulfill his potential in the big bash because his form in the 50 over Marsh Cup was incredible he was absolutely belting it in the Marsh Cup he was scoring he was scoring big and very very quickly he was smoking it and he was like the, the Marsh Cup that's like all the good players play in the 50 over comp. That's usually when pretty much all the internationals and and stuff um, they're sort of all back in the in the country at around that time. So you know he's he's not facing like par cricket. He's, he's facing the same bowl as he does in the in the big bash. Um, that's right here we got, <laughs> so we got another new power up. I hadn't seen this one before. Three free hits, <laughs> which is a pretty a pretty decent one. Uh, and we made the most of it because we got a we got a. We got caught first ball off it. So, you know, utilizing the power-ups nicely there. And, that, you know, that's a, that's a that's a neat little power-up. Three free hits. It, it makes sense for the game. Um, still, I mean, the most overpowered one is the is the double runs. Um, you know, it's it's extremely overpowered. But, uh, you know, we'll take the we'll take the free wicket because Linny would have been gone and it could have been a different uh, different perspective. But uh, five for 93. Jimmy Pearson plays a beautiful shot through the covers, dude. I was actually trying to get Lynn on strike. I thought it. I was surprised it didn't go for four here. We're just going to scamper through for uh, for three. So basically, ideal. Jimmy Pearson, beautiful stuff, and uh, Chris Lynn, a good chance to actually uh, pick up a a respectable fifty. Um, yeah, he's only faced the eleven balls, so. He, uh, he came in at the top of the order, been a little star for strike, but hopefully he can finish the inning strongly for us. That's a great start. It's out of the freaking stadium. Um, 110 meters, massive. I don't know how to celebrate. I, I don't really want to celebrate, but I was I was mashing buttons. Don't get me wrong. I was mashing buttons to try to celebrate, but I don't know. For one, I don't think I've unlocked many celebrations. And then two, you know, I'm not bothered enough to look up how to do them. <laughs> It just sort of slows the game up um, as uh, we get another four there. So Lini is on to 49 off 13. So potentially our first 50 of uh, 
of the tournament here, and we get a, a nice little power up, invisible wickets. Meh, you know, not not the not the most um, sort of relevant one because the ball like never hits the wickets in this game. <laughs> you never get bowled. I never get bowled in this game. It's usually either caught or yeah, pretty much caught. That's 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 pretty much the only way I, I've seen a wicket fall in this game. Is that is going to be the fifty for Lynn. Beautiful stuff. It's finishing the game off strongly here, and uh, yeah, we passed the 100 mark, which is obviously, I'd say the 100 mark is the, the par score um, for us anyway. Obviously, in a 5-over game, 100 runs is ridiculous, but um, for this game, I think 100 runs is pretty par, and we're going to push it up to a, to a pretty handy total for, for losing a few wickets early and, and not looking that great. 119 from 30 balls is, uh, is absolutely... Fantastic! We'll take it, dude. And I think the stars are going to be in uh, in a little bit of strife. Uh, I'll be I'll be I'll be honest. I think they're going to be in some trouble as uh, Jimmy Panson is going to steam in from uh, from the end here. Absolutely rip it in. That's a beautiful ball. I don't know why the keeper. <laughs> why is that a wide, you freaking goose? <laughs> why? That was a beautiful ball. That was not wide. Um, that actually blows me away that it was wide. Um. And then also, if watch the keeper, dude. The ball is like the the trajectory of the ball is going like straight to the keeper, and then he's diving like two meters to the left to take it. It's very strange. I don't. It's very strange. Like the the animational glitches in this game. It's just weird. It's just very weird because I feel like a lot of it is very polished. Like the the bowling and the batting animations, but then stuff like the, the keeper taking the grabs and stuff is so weird. <laughs> it's, it's strange. I don't I don't know why it is so like glitchy and stuff. Um But uh the stars actually uh actually off to a pretty good start here. Benny Dunk finding his uh his past form in uh, in the Big Bash. He's had a couple of poor years, but Ben Dunk was uh, was an absolute star in the Big Bash a few years ago. And uh, he started off brilliantly, so I don't know, dude. Maybe we're in a little bit of strife. I feel a little hard done by for bowling a couple of wides. Um, and we did bowl a no ball. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a rubbish over. But um, try to finish off strongly. Uh, try to limit the, the damage. Um, but yeah, finishing off on the Brisbane Heat. You know, like I said with Hazlitt, hopefully he finds that uh, that confidence in the Big Bash. Because, dude, he can he can play some cricket as uh, looks like I'm going to pick up a wicket here. We finally got the catching to work. I know when I played this before, the catching was, was very weird. Um, as right there, that is very annoying because the keeper should have run him out, but he was too busy appealing for the LB. <laughs> uh, but yeah, talking about the heat, let, let's talk about the star season. Um, they've had a fantastic start. Obviously that is a fantastic ball. Um, but yeah, the stars, you know, they, they got a great team. Like, the recruiting, they got Coulter Nile, Hilton Cartwright, who I think... I mean, Cartwright has had the potential for so long. Just for his fielding ability, like, you love to have him. But he's batting like he's an absolute monster to hit a ball. But he just hasn't, like, been able to find his best at the Scorchers. So, going to the Stars, he hasn't been amazing still. But he's, he's had a couple of good innings. His most recent one, when I'm making this video... He batted very well against the Sixers, where Marcus Stoin has got 140, 147. Um, Hilton Cartwright, I mean, he was unreal as well. He faced like half the balls and got like 60 runs. So he was he was looking on track for 100 as well. Is if he got if he got as many deliveries, but yeah, he, he looks like he's starting to find a little bit a little bit of confidence. Uh, Hilton Cartwright. I don't know why he doesn't bowl in the Big Bash. Like he, I thought he was a pretty genuine all rounder, but. I don't know. I guess he's he's probably the type of bowler that would get hit a bit as that one somehow it missed the leg stump and again the keeper took it like a meter down the leg side. It wasn't wide, thankfully. It was a it was a good ball. Um but yeah, Hilton Garright, Coulton Isle, um Dale well <laughs> Dale Stein was a bit of a flop. <laughs> played like two games I, I don't even know and then uh Harris Ralph has been a bit of a revelation as well so I mean the stars they've got a very good lineup they're they're going excellent they're you know they're on top of the ladder they're they're cruising so yeah it's, it's all looking pretty good for the for the stars in this match 
looking a little bit uh, a little bit below par. Hilton Cartwright is the man at the crease hitting that one for six, finally. Pete Hanscom going a little bit slow, but they do get that the ruthless runs, runs and coins were double. So, you know, it has the potential to bring them back. I mean, a couple of, I don't know how many balls it lasts for, but if a couple of sixes with double runs, dude, they, they could they could really uh, get, a, get a wriggle on. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be one of them. So, <laughs> there you go. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought he's raising his bat for like a 50, but it's just the freaking celebrations. Uh, it might only be one ball, actually. Um, might only be one ball, which is probably fair. Um, but yeah, the stars the stars are going excellent. They obviously haven't really been affected with the with the ODI stuff. Um, you know, usually they would be with Maxwell and Stoinis. Actually, I'm surprised Stoinis wasn't selected, although in international, Stoinis has been pretty bad. He had that one tremendous series over in New Zealand where he carried Australia. But other than that, he's been pretty shocking. So I'm not that surprised. And then obviously Maxwell. I know a lot of people are like confused with the Maxwell thing. But obviously he's coming back from his mental health issues. Um, and I, I don't know if he... I'm not. I thought originally he did rule himself out. I don't. I don't know 100% if he ruled himself out from the internationals in India, but it makes sense. Like you know, he's playing good cricket in the T20 Big Bash. He's obviously enjoying it. You know, you might as well just let him let him play. Like what's the? It's obviously a big series over in India, but you know, he. Uh, it's probably best for him to uh, to stay. So, yeah, they're, they're not really affected. <laughs> much at all so yeah it's gonna be a good uh a good season for the stars i hope they don't win trust me i'm not a stars fan <laughs> i mean honestly again the big bash as uh this should be another wicket beautiful bit of bowling the villiers <laughs> he's into the attack and picking up a wicket first ball the uh the absolute star um but yeah i mean the big bash i just like watching good cricket so i don't really dislike any team but out of all the teams i don't want the stars to win the comp i guess <laughs> so uh de Villiers here wicked first ball beautiful stuff that one is skied as well by glenn maxwell straight to the man at deep cover surely two wickets and two balls ab de Villiers is gonna be on a hat trick can you believe it glenn maxwell not happy at all can't blame him either he uh you know, he can be a bit hit or miss in his day, but he's uh, he's been very hit lately, um, Glenny. So, yeah, big... Uh, here we go. Big ball here. AB. AB de Villiers. And we also get the... Uh, oh, unfortunately, it doesn't really help our, our bowling here, but we do get a power-up. It's going to be runs hard. So, I think another new power-up there. As uh, this one is a no ball, dude. <laughs> it's a no ball and it's hit for six. That's an absolute shocker. And there's a celebration. <laughs> so after our two wickets, we bowled a no ball six, wide, wide, dot, wide, and another wide. We, we, we haven't been able to hit the pitch here with, with De Villiers. Um, he's, only, he's only bowled three balls, two for eight. It hasn't been the worst over, don't get me wrong. But it, it's getting bad. It's getting up there. And there's a lot of extras. <laughs> well, I, thought, I, I actually, I was confident in the hat trick. And then bowling that no ball that went for six, it rattled us. It definitely rattled De Villiers. And he's had a, he's got to fight back here. They've, they've got their power up, which doesn't really affect us. Don't worry about it. So... Just bowl a couple of a couple of good balls at the end here. Beautiful stuff. A little bit of outswing. A little bit of zip. And uh, he's sliding in there. Great stuff. A, B. That's what he's here for. <laughs> a little smirk as well. And uh, the face scan of De Villiers. How, when did they get the face scans of uh, of these players, dude? It's very it's very neat. Um, is that one is a... It's edge almost for six. Great shot, I guess. Peter Hanscom. So that's going to be a huge, huge win by the boys they they you know the first over was pretty good for them but the rest you know absolutely smoked smoked them hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you in the next one